Hi, Steve from Steve's TV here. Today we're going to show you how to build a Weingart 7000C, low VHF, high VHF, and UHF off-air antenna. So let's get to it. So right here we have the tools necessary to put this antenna together quickly and easily. Okay, so what we've got here is a 7000C by Weingard. Now, uh, what they do is they send this mount along, and um, I don't recommend you use it. I throw these out, actually. Uh, the reason is that you really can't get it up high enough on the house to be effective. So what you want to do is you want to use a tripod ridge mount or a sidewall mount and get the antenna up there on, uh, you know, an 8-foot piece of pipe, 10-foot piece of pipe. Get the best height you can. You'll get the best use out of the antenna, and it'll work the best. So I'm going to take these uh, these pieces that we don't use, and I'm just going to put them over here in the junk pile. Okay, there's the junk pile. Now we're going to break this out. There's all the little pieces involved. And we can put this in the junk pile. All right. Now, inside this bag... Oh yeah, so that's a tough one. What I want, I want to get rid of this crap that we've seen with uh, Alright, so, I'm going to do is put this up here. These are all the miscellaneous pieces you're going to need for this antenna assembly. Um, so, let's get to it. I'll show you each, each one. Okay, so what we're doing is we uh, fold these out. And you've got a few of them to fold out, so just take each one. You're going to hear a little click when that goes in the right position. Everything comes folding out fairly easy. These here you want to be careful with. There we go. You want to get those out there, but they can be a little sharp. So I recommend you watch out or you'll do like me and cut your fingers. Okay, so there they are. Those are set all out. And all right, that looks good. So now we're going to take and we're going to put the uh, mast attachment assembly, the clamp. You put that piece inside of there like that. You take these and you line them up into the holes. Put them out the other side. You got two of these nuts that go right on here for tightening down on the mast. I'm not that good at my left handed apparently. There we go. Alright, so now we've got that. What we want to do next is I'm going to show you this um, this little thing here. We want to take the antenna this way. Now these go in here, they've all been done at the factory. The holes all line up. And I would recommend that when you do this, you put your screws down this way if the nut was to fall off at least the, the screw would not fall out and you wouldn't lose your connection and have the whole thing fall apart now what's going to happen is this piece here the longest one you have two long ones and you have two shorter ones okay the two longest ones are going to be on the very end here and this is to get your low VHF and it's going to be the same way, okay? I'm going to put this in here and line it up. Drop the screw in there. They fight you a little bit, but you get them in there. And of course, you're going to tighten all this down. So what you've got is the same thing going to occur on the other side i'm not going to show you that right now we're going to show you this one here the next step down but this here will go on the opposite side same way what you're going to do over here you're going to put on the joiner line up your holes drop a screw in of course put a nut on it okay and then we're going to take the shorter piece and bring it on to the next level here this is your high VHF. This is your low VHF, the longer ones. This is your high VHF, the shorter ones. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm not going to do the opposite side right now because it's going to be the exact same thing as what we've done here. You're going to take the shorter one, put it on the second tier down, and the longer one on the first tier. Now you've got this piece here. You're going to go right in here, pretty straightforward. Put your, your bolt, your screw, whatever you want to call it, down. And then you come underneath with your nut. And this is another high VHF element right here. These are your low. The longest ones are your low. These next series are your high. All right. Uh, you want to put these caps on either end. Keeps the water out so it doesn't freeze up on you. Generally, you have to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a hillbilly love tap right there. And the same thing down the other end. There's two of them that come with it. Oh yeah. And that goes. Okay, so next step in this procedure is, again, these two pieces are for these pieces here that we haven't put on, but I showed you what to do with those. Pretty straightforward stuff. I'm just going to turn this, and we're going to go underneath here now. And what we're going to do is, this is how, what they call a 75 ohm transformer, which takes from 300 ohm, which is these two here, and it changes it to 75 ohm. So what you do is you put these four little washers that came with it onto this post. All right, and then we put our little washers back on, get back to the 10 mil nuts. And we put that on there. And these here, you're gonna tighten everything down with a uh, 10 mil ratchet. You wanna hold uh, the, the wire so that you don't snap it, so. You want to get it down there snug, but don't over tighten it and keep a handle on that the wire so it doesn't turn on you All right, so that's just snug enough like that. Okay, and you do the other one the same way get it down nice and snug And then what I do with these here is you're gonna have your wire and you're gonna put this other uh, uh, Boot on the end of the wire so that it comes on to here once you've screwed your 75 ohm connector on then the boot goes over to keep all the weather out and then what i do with this is to keep everything secure we take and without crushing any elements of course you just secure this so that it's not going to be hanging or have any tension on it and you're going to put a couple of these you know you're going to have the the wire and the boot here so what you'll do is you'll put another one here and maybe another one over here and again don't don't put it on top of there put it underneath it don't matter if the wire goes across the top that's okay just don't crush anything down so basically what you've got here folks is a quick assembly of this antenna which works very good you'll get good reception quality out of it if you couple it up with a uh, wine guard lna 200 amp preamp that is uh, here's a hint if you're in a high wind area these longest ones, they're a little on the lanky side. And I found that in high winds, it's not impossible for them to shift. So that, you know, it'll almost fold back on you. So what I do is I bring these uh, cable ties around like this. And you kind of just get it snug for now. Not too tight because it'll slip off on you. And right, you put one over here. Like this. Again, never crushing any elements or anything. Just getting it around there, because what happens is this slides, okay, so you want to, you want to do that. And I let Weingarten know that this was happening, but I don't know if anybody read that email. So then you put two of these together, unless you have a longer than an 8 inch, these are 8 inch cable ties. And you want to take this, actually, over here, bring it like this, thread it through, and what happens. But that's okay, we haven't tightened it yet. So now we're going to thread this through. All right, so we're going to snug it up until you pull these in somewhat. You don't have to go too too crazy, but you want to get them nice and snug. And then you can snug this one down and snug that one down. And that's going to give this thing some better holding power and, let's say, resistance in a high wind. So that's just a little trick. Use it if you want, use it if you don't. But if you're in a high wind, you may find it comes in handy. So you're not climbing on the house all the time. And now, another thing I want to point out real quickly. Don't ever point your antenna across the solar panels. 
If your towers are here, you want to you want to be on this end of the house. If your towers are here, you want to be on this end of the house. You never want to shoot across your solar panels because we found that it can affect one, ten, or all of your channels. Thank you. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you would.